Hey guys, so I just got home and I had popped into Ulta while I was out today, so I figured why not do a little mini Ulta haul for you guys. I just got a few things. It's funny how it always happens that you just need, I just had like two things on my list. I was going to run and grab those two things and head out. I mean, it is Ulta, so it's kind of hard to stay focused and there's so many new things out that I hadn't seen for a while. It's been a long time since I've been there, so I had kind of fun exploring around. I tried to be pretty good, but I mean, if you're like at Ulta, Sephora, or Target, let's be honest, we're not going to go just get the one, two things we need. We're going to look around the whole store and leave with more than we came for. So let's pop right in and I'll show you what we got. Okay, so I wanted to try like a new mask and I've been interested in the peel off mask situations. So I got this one. I've never tried it before, but let's be honest, I was just drawn by the packaging. It's the Formula 10.0.6 Get Your Glow On Skin Brightening Peel Mask, Papaya and Citrus. And it's basically a radiance boosting mask that helps remove dead skin cells, unclog pores, banish breakouts blah 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 so this is what it looks like I just think it's super cute packaging so I'm excited to try that I'm gonna try that next time I'm home for the day all right then something else I went in for was this brow product it's the um, benefit give me brow and this is shade one it's the lightest shade it's pretty much a little tiny mascara that's the best way I can describe it um, if you've never seen this before, but it's a tinted, um, I'm trying to get it out so I can show you, but it's not cooperating. Here we go. So this is what it looks like, and it's like a tinted eyebrow mascara, pretty much. It has little fibers, and they stick to your brows. So not only does it add a little color to your brows, it also kind of, with the fibers, fills in the brows too, so if you have any kind of sparse spots or thinner areas, this does a really good job of filling it in. So I got this in a birch box one time and I love it so much. This is actually the second time I've purchased it, so it's definitely going into my holy grail makeup items. And the other thing I was actually in there for was a new pair of tweezers. I cannot find mine to save my life and chances are now that I bought these ones, I'm going to find my other ones. but. That's okay. So I just like to get the Tweezer Man ones. I just get the mini size um, just because it's they're cheaper. So I think they're like about $15. I love Tweezer Man tweezers. I just got like a minty um, green color. Nothing too exciting. And then I remembered when I was in there that I did need a new eyeliner. And so I wanted to try um, Tarte because I seem to do well with those and I'm getting really sensitive um, around my eye areas so certain mascaras and eyeliners have really been like irritating me and making my eyes itch and water so I figured I would give Tarte a try because they're a little bit more towards the natural side of makeup and this is really cool because it's a double um, sided eyeliner so I have the um, felt tip liner and then the other side is just a simple um, pencil liner and it's cool because it rolls up so I just got I don't know if it came in other colors but I mean I wasn't looking for any other color than black so I just got the black so I'm excited to try that out because I've been needing a new one since all the other ones I have are irritating my eyes now and then the last thing I got was a new foundation also by Tarte this is the Amazonian clay BB tinted moisturizer it's got SPF of 20 which is not really super necessary this time of year but I mean can never go wrong with a little SPF so this is what it looks like I got it in the shade light I think there's one lighter than this one called ivory which is I have pretty fair skin but the ivory was pretty light so I tried this one I'm hoping it'll work um, we'll see I haven't used this foundation before but I'm excited to try it out I need a new one I have been living off foundation samples for quite a while so just decided to buck up and get a new foundation. This one felt really nice. I really liked the way it um, blended in very well. And I definitely prefer tinted moisturizers anyways. I don't like having a super heavy coverage. And on the days that I do want something heavier, I just will put like a 
powder foundation on top of my tinted moisturizer. So yeah. Anyways, that is what I got at Ulta. So I hope you enjoyed watching this. I could watch Ulta and Sephora haul videos and drugstore haul videos for hours. So hopefully you can just add this to your binge watch list if you're binge watching beauty hauls right now. I have a trunk club coming, I think hopefully tomorrow. So look for that in the next few days. And I have a funny little twist I'm gonna be doing on that uh, trunk club unboxing video. So you definitely don't wanna miss that. So be sure to hit the subscribe button so you can see all my future videos. Also check out my vlogging channel. Me and my husband vlog our, uh, it's not a super daily adventure vlog, but we usually do three videos a week. So I'll put an iCard in one of these corners. I haven't figured out which way to point yet. Anyways, you can check that to subscribe to that channel. We would really love it. And yeah, that's all I got to say for you guys. So I hope you have a good day. I will see you in my next video. Bye.